This is Hibiscus Syriacus Collimullens, Collimullens Rose of Sharon. And um, a lot of times when people hear hibiscus, they picture the four inch diameter uh, plant flower with a, a big stamen in the middle. And those are the, um, those are the tropical hibiscus. This is a deciduous shrub, uh, gets about 10 feet tall and uh, five to seven feet wide. Uh, this one you're looking at is about seven or eight years old in my backyard. And um, what I like about Hibiscus Syriacus family is their summer bloom. They bloom in the middle of summer, somewhere between June and October, depending on the variety. Kali Mullins, I would say, is a good solid two months in my backyard, usually between uh, July and August and sometimes into September. So you're seeing a lot of these uh, Hibiscus Syriacus are fairly vase shaped. So they have a, they're narrower at the bottom and widen out at the top. And uh, here's a good look at the uh, flowers. Uh, one of the things to also understand is they bloom on terminal spikes. So they're at their, see how the flowers are at the tips of these leaves? Oh, I'm sorry, these branches. And so, um, if you want to encourage a nice heavy bloom throughout the plant, some pruning during the uh, once they've finished their bloom or during the winter while they're deciduous will encourage a fuller bloom. Um, I haven't really done much with this because I was trying to see how large it would get and let it reach its mature size. But as a result, you see how most of these flowers are more at the outer edge of the plant. And that's more because that's where the new growth still is. So something to consider when you're trying to encourage bloom in a certain way. Uh, the flowers on these are about three inches in diameter. The, pick, the color, as you can see, is a deep pink. And they come out a nice strong pink color and then they fade. What's interesting too is the flowers will stay on even when they've shriveled up and they turn to a nice blue color, kind of a bluish lavender uh, color. So even while they're on the plant, they're not unattractive. Uh, and then they're self-cleaning. They do fall off on their own eventually. They don't seem to hold on too long. So I don't, I cons I don't consider the deadheads a big problem. Um, also, the hibiscus syriacus are known for going to seed. I have not had any seedlings grow around this plant in the seven or so years that I've had it, so I'm um, not really a problem with this variety, at least and not in my situation. And uh, regular water hibiscus syriacus, it's a deeper rooted shrub, but you know, I, I'd say ideally. Uh, once or twice a week, this is going to look its best, and I also think it's a good idea to feed these, um, especially in the spring and early summer, to build a good bloom. And full sun, although this one gets shaded uh, partially by the trees you see there behind it, um, these bloom well in full sun, so I'd say part shade to full sun in terms of that. Also, they're hardy down to around minus 15 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and they can take a lot of heat. I see I have these here and it's 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit with very low humidity in the summer and they do very well where we are. That's what I can tell you about Hibiscus syriacus, Kali Mullins, Kali Mullins, Rose of Sharon. Enjoy.